a little curvy. Okay, now we have to apparently talk to her. <clears throat> hmm, okay, what's next, animals? Your aunt always had a bunch of cute, cuddly animals in the cafe. Honestly, it's the best part of the whole thing. Why don't you go look around and adopt an animal for the cafe? They're all over the island. As long as they don't belong to someone else, they are available for the cafe. In your new fuzzy family. Nice. Yeah, for those who are curious how I set up the cafe here, I went with the, the uh, horror theme here. DMC knocks down my window. Alright, we got a recipe book over here. It looks like I've seen what uh, goes on with that too. Uh, Ready Set kind of showed that there, which was pretty cool. Alright, so we need to find ourselves an animal to tame. Oh, I mean, I think the, uh, I like our hairstyle, though. Now, what's that? Or doggo. Can I climb over this? Uh, nope. We're out of luck. What's that? What is a doggo? Hey, doggo! What's your name? Hey, buddy. Ozzy. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Huh? And that neck is like twisting so far. Oh, my neck's having a hurt looking at that. Alright, I'll keep you in mind. What kind of animals we have a variety here? Or what kind of variety of animals we have? So one of the things I think it's fascinating about the art style of the trees is they're kind of like I see any kind of leaves kind of disappear a little bit. Kind of like a dramatic style to it. <coughs> Pardon me. Reminds me a little bit of cotton candy. I run to in real life. Are we swim in this game? Yep, you can swim. Okay, it seems like the doggo is probably the only selection I can find right now. Quests, talk to Mayor, talk to Mayor, find him animal, use a command, okay. Let's see if we can find ourselves an animal. And the dog, obviously, I'd probably just end up going with the dog, it's the only thing I can find, really. Um, I haven't found any other sort of animal yet. Oh, another kitty cat. 
Tiger. Hey, Tiger. I mean, I already have a cat, though. I want to have a little bit of variety here. Okay, this looks like this might be a Fey location. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with cats in games, but... I'm more of a dog person. Or in this case, I'm more of a... Oh, look, we're back where we're at. I mean, she has some crazy stamina, though. I see, well, the thing I seem to find is that dog. Yeah, the shell sh or the cell shadedness of this game kind of reminds me of also oil paint canvas, like canvas art. Oil paint canvas art, what? <laughs> oil painting on canvas art. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I have a little head cold. What? I think I saw a fox over there. Oh, it's a red panda. Oh! Matches! What the f What the hell am I doing? Um, is this normal? Okay. So my thing with this controller scheme so far is like it seems like they have the left bumper and the right bumper kind of awkward. Like it's like they have the left bumper where it would look like a right bumper. And so I'm looking at the shape of it as opposed to the actual thing where it says LB in the middle there. And that's what's throwing me off. Like I keep thinking that's something else, but it's actually left bumper. He's my buddy now. Are they going to follow me around or no? Took patches. All right, let's get all the way back to the cafe. All right. 
So they, she wants me to go and learn some recipes for food here. Oh, and something else to note. This island is very much based on old magic. The way we do things is different here. I think you'll really enjoy cooking, though. It is pretty fun to throw an egg the size of your whole body. Say what? You'll see. Go try it out. Okay, you hang out in the cafe. Aw, he's taking a nap. All right, we're going to go in here and make coffee beans milk. Chocolate, cinnamon, vanilla, egg, coffee beans. Hey, what are you doing? Get, hey, what are you doing? Hey! 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 You! Hey, you! Hey, you! Get out of here! No, you can't have any coffee! What the hell are you- Get out of here! Get! Alright, so I need some milk. Oh, shit. Okay, tray is over here. Go, that's cooked. I'm so proud of you. You are a natural. I guess that's all that's left is meeting some of your neighbors. Go and look around and meet them. Unfortunately, I had some problems traveling to and from other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't been able to get to the hot springs for months. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea to fix some of the barricades. Anyway, I hope you get back to the cafe up and running. If you ever want to chat me about it, um, I live down this road right here. Past the town center. See ya, friendo. There's nice, like, uh, leggings, though. Yeah, like, the thing about her leggings, is that, like, is it, like, cosmic energy or something? What the hell was that? Okay, we'll talk to the person I think I saw down by the like a tower, and we'll go on from there. And then we'll probably wrap things up for this game in a couple of, like a couple little steps here, and then we'll go from that point. All right, so with the I think this was the owl lady. Hello, my name is Ma Maya, vice president of the Owl Club at your service. Oh, but I'm sorry, I'm the vice president. Nothing right now. There is a landslide that blocked a path to the mountains. We can't go to the mountains that meant that meant we c that meant that means okay. Sorry. Three hours that they the little typo there screwed me all up. Uh if we can't go to the mountains, that means we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters. And if we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters, that means you can't meet Freya. She's the president of the Owl Club. In the president of my heart. Aww. I'm in a real pickle of beans right now, is what I'm saying. Oh no, what's wrong? I don't know if Kava mentioned this to you, but there's a landslide in the entrance of Snowbell Mountains. It's such a bummer. Can I help? Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. I have no idea how you could help, but if you could find a way, I promise you there'll be... A prestigious, you'll be a prestigious member of the our of our Owl Club. I've asked everyone in town to help, but no one could except for Autumn, which I haven't asked her yet. She lives in a bottle on top of the hill next to your cafe. It's really, really high up, and I'm scared of heights. I know it seems weird for an owl-based magical girl, but I can't actually fly. 
Uh, I'll introduce you to Owlboy. He'll, he'll hook you up. Alright. So far we got patches. I'm assuming we we have to collect as many animals as possible over time too. It looks like, or we could just kind of just talk to them to earn you know earn them in our book there. <laughs> I just love that run. That's the run you would make when you saw, <laughs> you see that the stove is on fire. Like, oh! It's like, no. All right, so let's go ahead here and go back to find where the heck this character is. Is there an actual map in this game? Let me see. Why well, if I look over at the bottom left? There we go. All right, so we are here. Okay, so I'm going to move this. Now I see where I need to be. The secret passage around the waterfall. Who would have knew? All right, we got some recipe for some cat bread, a Oliver plush, egg chair, donut recipe, a citrus chair. A tow bean table, a cloud table, egg coffee table, and a tow bean sofa. Okay. That's pretty cute. Oh, yeah. Break your face, Z. Um, I think you can toggle it. Yeah, like I usually turn that on when it, you know, kind of, kind of curves in a little bit. And apparently, you can't see me very well either because I just looked over at chats on my face. Let me see. Move it over here. I forgot I put it in that corner. Kinda. I think it was just because of the OBS studio settings, too, like... Uh, let's see. Is this a staircase need? Because I, I wouldn't... As soon as that updated, I guess a lot of people have been having issues similar to yours. Okay, this isn't the bottle we need. Because it did some wacky stuff, like it took a lot of the compressors... Or the compressor... Settings in everyone's OBS, even mine's, it was, you know, acting weird not to fix it earlier. Because, like, literally when you were talking, it was like, 
I, so then I went, you know what I mean? I kept doing stuff like that. Like it was literally like knocking out a lot of your phrasing. Even though you would talk loud, it was still, you know what I mean? Like it was actually muting you a lot or it was kind of canceling out your voice. It looks cool. Meow, 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 meow. For sale. The same stuff in the cave. I'm not even going anywhere correct here. Okay. I see. I gotta cut a... Wait, what? Okay, I was completely going in the wrong direction. How you doing? Hi, yeah, I'm Sunny. Blossom and I care are so excited about the Cat Cafe reopening. It's where we first met. I thought about running the cafe myself, but that would be spoiled the magic for me. Besides, I'd rather run the boardwalk arcade. You think if I get the high score on every machine, I can legally own the place? Oh, maybe. <clears throat> Aww. Aww. That's one, that's one fluffy kitty. Look at you. There we go. <laughs> Look. Uh, let me see that cat's face. Oh my god, they just look so miserable. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. There we go, kitty. We're going for a ride. Wee! <laughs> I don't know why this is making me laugh so much. Just look at this cat just on top of red, like. Just wobbling around. Alright, so we're kinda going in the right direction now. Okay, Pudgems, we need to bring you to, uh, cafe real quick this game does uh, promote abducting animals quite fiercely though What's going on with that cat? The cafe. To the cafe. You stay here and do things. All right. It is. I just realized my character looked like the Wendy's girl a little bit. Now 
That wasn't even my initial attention of why I made her look like her. I want some I want some Wendy's. Oh, was a crow. <laughs> I'm pulling a ready set here in uh creative verse. abducts every single animal in that game and just <laughs> takes him into our house in the game just you know you see he has a basement full of animals you're just like what the heck is going on and he just you can't fit you like we needed them babe and it's like ah. there we go now we got now we got a in there now. All right, let's go ahead here and I'm gonna Raven got patches or Raven patches tiger budgems. We also need to add calico to the uh, cafe as well. It's like such a random selection of animals, too. Like, they're all cute. Especially the Pudgems. Like, that, that was the most cute. It was adorable. I would take a bullet for that cat. That cat was cute. Some performance issues here on this hill. Yeah. Another uh, crow. Jeez, cute. <laughs> Greetings, traveler. Welcome to my partial poem of potent portable, or uh, potable portable, horrible potions. I am Paul Autumn. Autumn. I'm Autumn. <sighs> Sorry, I don't have any potions available right now. My cat car is missing and I have no idea where she is. And the worry has got me totally behind in making potions. Lost cat, lost cat. Wow, that would be incredible. I have a feeling she might be near the center of town. Last time she went missing, I found her in a pile of clothing at the clothing store. She wasn't there when I checked earlier. It was possibly a good place to start. Okay. Let's go. The rain in the background now is making me very drowsy. All right, is there fall damage in this? Let's find out. Woo! Overall, though, I do like the game. Like, it has kind of like that Little Dragon's Cafe kind of vibe to it, I suppose. I could have sworn she had... Yeah, I could have sworn she had... Okay, that's something different. Never mind. But that was the mayor. Aw, they're all cute. Okay, is this where we need to be looking? 
Okay, we can buy cosmetics, it looks like. Okay, so it looks like we can go and buy some clothes and change up if we want to. Got a mouse tail, so if you're into that. Uh, crop zip hood or zip hoodie. Okay, so some fashion in there as well. Okay, so you can also buy props and everything for your shop here as well. That spooky display case is actually interesting me quite a bit. So once I make, or as, once I, if I get into the game further, I'll probably get the spooky display case. If she's still selling it by the time I come back here in the future. And I'll go from there, but I first need to actually buy food and, or not buy food, but actually make food and have the shop up and running. Okay, that just kind of prop it looks like. Game saved. Yeah, the UI in this game is a little, little bit uh, janky, like slightly with the controller. Oh, look at the bunny! Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, you gonna fly away? Oh, your bunny. Hoppity. Is that the cat? Okay, you're coming to me, little shit. to that potion there. Yeah, there she is. She herself is a uh, cat lady. Literally. Greetings, Traveler. Is this your char? Can't believe you found my char so quickly. How can I repay you? Help with landslide? Hmm. Oh, hmm. That's a hard one. It could be a great... It would be be great to be able to go back to the mountains once... Since one's my biggest customers is there. Love bees up in the Snowbell Hot Springs. Always commissions potions for me for her herbal baths. I don't really make potions that blow up rocks, though. Let me think about this a bit. I got it. Come back tomorrow, and I should have something ready for you. But it's fresh in the day. Why the hell do I need to come, like, waste a day to come back to you for a freaking potion? That red panda is always up to no good. Look at him. Look at that freaking red panda. That thing is always up to no good. Like, seriously, look at that damn thing. And 
It absolutely is. Laying all weird on that couch and shit. Oh, that fluffy kitty. Oh. Oh, you're so fluffy. Every day. And a corgi in this, apparently. My character is looking at the ceiling like, where did my life turn to? All right. Aww. All right, let's actually save though. Save and quit. Yeah, that right there. Is Calico a little bit of a wacky little game for sure? It's cute, like it actually is really cute. Um, it's obviously aimed towards one demographic, it seems, but that's you know, I mean, I'm not trying to make a big deal about it, but it just seems like it's more meant uh, for the ladies' persuasion. But at the same time, if you like cutesy kind of things, it's regardless of what you're playing as, it's still really fun. It's cute. This is a scene transition, babe. Like with the in with the Unity engine, it seems like they kind of went as far as they could with it as well. 